All right, hello, wine drinking people. Today is Thursday, the 20th of June, and uh, we've got a lot of drinking going on here this week, but again, not a lot going on the next few weeks. Check out what's going on the rest of the month of July if you want to see. I don't know if you guys are gone. I'm gone to the end of June. I always take a little break this time of year, but we are not taking a break in terms of the store. We are open six days a week, Monday through Sunday, Saturday, no matter whether I'm here or not, folks. So uh, check out all the offers we've got coming up. And uh, like I said, we've got a lot of great wine, a lot of great deals in the summertime here. People looking to move inventory like the last of this 2009 Tresor Ferrari Corano Winery. got to remember the first few vintages of this wine, 1987. Jeez, I go back a long way. God, I'm getting old. I remember uh, these guys came out of the gate, their first 10 vintages of Chardonnay, scoring 90 points or higher in the wine spectator. And everything this winery makes, I mean, there is value in. This uh, Tresor, if I was going to pick a handful of the top Bordeaux style blends coming from uh, Sonoma County. This would definitely be in it. You know, it's the first vintage of this was 1988. And uh, I got people that have been buying this from the Wine Watch probably since then. We got people that have vertical collections in their cellars because we have been touting this wine for a long time. And the 2009, a blend of uh, 76% Cabernet Sauvignon. They could call it a Cabernet Sauvignon, a little Merlot, Petit Verdot, Malbec, Cabernet Franc. So they got all five of the Bordeaux varietals in here. Big and chewy here, these 2009s offering some lovely forward fruit at this time. I think they've got the structure to age still, but you know, these wines are showing really nicely right now. Hard to resist them. That lovely dark currant and cassis berry fruit showing on the nose. Some sweet tobacco spice, dark earth, a nice amount of toasty oak, bittersweet chocolate. Really nice and long on the tongue. This wine is big around, but it's got soft tannins, really ripe here and echoing those nuance from the nose through the finish here. Most Excellent juice this 2009. And, uh, well, we've got a lot of other stuff from Fry Corona Winery. The Cabernet, Alexander Valley, which uh, for under 30 bucks, one of the better values. And then there's the Fumé Blanc, which uh, what a great summertime wine. This wine's more along the melon and fig kind of uh, nuance and fruit for the Sauvignon Blanc. Not, not as much of the grapefruit and passion fruit papaya like you get in uh, New Zealand, but more California style. And all of these wines, lovely balance. The Sienna also another big hit here. And uh, like I said, we've got pretty much everything that they make that's available in South Florida from Ferrari Corona. We even have their Black Muscat dessert wine. Well, check it out, folks. Everything we've got Got to offer from Ferrari Carano Winery. I'm your host, Andrew Lampassoni, signing off for the Wine Watch, saying remember, always drink the good stuff first.